welcome to Indie Film Cafe uh, uh, Short Film Reviews. Yay. I'm your host, Jonathan Moody, and I'm here with... Polly Presenza, known as the Moo Cow Mew. And this is our Short Film Reviews episode because uh, we felt like it was time to actually do reviews of short films. Yay, we have lots of short films, so it's high time we started to do a short review for some short films. Now, this is actually a short film that's part of a uh, anthology, but we thought, why not do just the short one of the one of the shorts from it? Um, right, and this is a fuzzy monkey short film. Yes, uh, called Minstrel Massacre. Oh yeah, we went there. Yeah, they went there. They went there. They went there a lot. They went there in a big, big, big way. It was pretty crazy. Yeah, and if you know the fuzzy monkey crew, you know they don't really hold back a lot. So. Uh, yeah, so to, I guess, give a quick little uh, storyline about it, um, uh, a father calls a, uh, a pet... Um, Marley. With, with, yeah, I guess Marley. Uh, a pet uh, exorcist uh, to come and get rid of his... Uh, ex- exercise the demon from his daughter. So the, uh, the guy comes up there to do that and... Uh, they they get the the demon out and put it into this like box and then not easily and not happily and definitely not cleanly and then later the box is opened by the niece of the guy who's letting him house her house it and she of course is gonna have sex with her boyfriend and he's looking for condoms and finds the box opens it up and lets the spirit out and then right. all hell breaks and I do call Shannon just because uh, the guy said. Whoever opens the box is going to get possessed by the demon, and the guy who opened the box wasn't possessed by the demon, but he had kind of a worse fate. Yeah. Well, he didn't, yeah. I mean, maybe the, the pet exorcist didn't really know all right. what was going to happen. Um, How could the pet exorcist not know everything? I don't know. He should have known everything. <laughs> um, but yeah, it was. I thought it was an interesting storyline. Um uh, so the actors involved, uh, Jesse Green plays the, um... Captain Mango. Yeah, he plays the, um... <laughs> our neighbors are not happy about this. Um, us Too doing bad. this. Um, so the, uh, yeah, basically Captain Mango plays the father. Um, Rick Germain, um, played the, uh, a pet exorcist. Uh, and then there was, um, not, was it, was Ophelia, Ophelia Rain... Rain. Plays the first daughter, the possessed daughter. And Nadia White plays the uh, niece. Right. So um, those Jolly, are the main... Charlie Green, Nadia White. Yeah. <laughs> you like that when I said that, I do. Because right? she gets all green later when she becomes possessed. And yeah, she's going to be on the frozen vegetable packaging of my my dreams. <laughs> um. So we, we had a blast. Um. There's a lot of nudity in the film. It's very silly and, and gross and over the top, but fun. And for a short film, I mean, there's a lot of boobs, there's a lot of sex, well, there's of a everything. lot of violence, there's a lot of um, cursing. It ends a little too, like, okay, we didn't know how to end this kind of thing, and so let's let's make something silly, right. you know, and kind of thing. There's and boobs, dangle, and the JJ, just so you know. There's not, there's not much of dangle. There's like, some. Uh, a little bit. And there's some half dangle because things get sort of bit and or ripped off. Oh, that's right. I mean, okay, okay. There's dangle, but there's like fake dangle, you know, or whatever. <laughs> uh, I don't know. It was weird. It was such a strange kind of freaking weird movie. Right. If it were longer, it would have been a perfect what the fuck, but, you know, what the fuck Friday movie. Well, but... I mean, I guess this movie, this whole series could have been something we could have done for True. like a True. IFC thing. Um, and it is definitely something we recommend. Um, we're trying not to spoil it too much. Because, uh, you know, obviously it's short and uh, we want you guys to go see it yourself um, kind of thing. Right, but especially since it's got folks in there that we know and we really like. and We love know, Ophelia. We do. And we love, we Ophelia, love Nadia. Nadia. Um, Jesse Green's cool. Jesse Green's We love awesome. the Fuzzy Monkey folks. Rick Germain is them. really nice. Um, like everybody, Brad Twig, who directed. Uh, All our monkeys should be fuzzy. Yes, all fuzzy monkeys are fantastic. Right, 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 right. So, so definitely check them out. Um, you might want to not show it in front of your parents, maybe, or any of your super, you know, touchy and or conservative friends. But otherwise, expect it to be kind of like a fun, wacky, silly, grotesque, and over-the-top horror film. Because, you know, it's it's a movie where they went there. 
Oh, they went there. They went there in a big was, way. It was nuts. <laughs> um, and it's it's definitely it, it's called Mistral Massacre. So and there's a reason. And there is a reason. And it seemed like both Ophelia and Nadia had fun doing their bit. I yeah. Mean, they they kind of went all out for it, and um, they really got a lot of paint. I mean, I guess Nadia got painted all green, but uh, poor Ophelia was like blue and just gray and purple. Yeah. And, ugh. It was, it was, ugh. Her uh, teeth were green. And... But it was great. Um, so here is the box cover of it. Um, it also has some bonus shorts on the thing too. Nice. So um, you don't just get a bunch of shorts in the anthology, but you also get a couple bonus shorts. That I guess they just didn't feel like um, they could fit into the, right. the thing to make it work. Um, and the anthology I think is made kind of where it's just different shorts together. It's not like uh, a wrap around or anything. There's no nothing tying it all together. Right. Though there are references, I believe that they did a short film. Before then, called Roxy Moron, that um, uh, that um, Nadia was in, and they referenced that um, in the thing, saying something about Roxy. So there's, I think there's each thing has something tying it, maybe, but uh, the uh, this movie stands alone as its own short, and it could. Right, like, absolutely. There's nothing that. And um, it was great to have uh, Ophelia Rain and Nadia White in there. I only kind of wish they had been in together for a scene, but you know you can understand um, narratively why that didn't happen. Um, and you can understand so. also. I mean, uh, when people get you know certain people, sometimes they uh, some scheduling uh, things right, right, happen. Right. So it worked it out the way that it, it should out. work out, and uh, they did a great job, and I loved it. And I think everybody should go check it out. Um, if you get a chance to check out, uh, we'll, we'll send up a link for Fuzzy Monkey stuff. Yay. So hopefully you guys can go check them out and buy their stuff. Um, mm -hmm. Omnius of Blood is a really good anthology ser uh, series. It's something that I, I would suggest people go go get if they can. And they see uh, Fuzzy Monkeys at a um, convention. Oh, and yeah. Definitely check them out. Definitely so. check them out. They always have something interesting and crazy and fun to do. And... Um, Plus, if you like cute animals, you'll love Marley. He's a yep. cutie pie. There you go. All right. Well, thank you guys for checking this little short review out. Short and, review um, for a short film. Yep. Short review for a short film. Talk so, to you later, guys. Bye. bye.